Yeah. <laughs> it was solid. You know, we're still we're in that uh, process right now. Where we've moved into uh, you know Miami of Ohio. You know, a little bit more sort of crossover type stuff, and so um, trying to teach you know the younger players you know how that practice goes. You know, whether you're you're on a look team or whether you're uh, a young player, you know, playing sort of you know on that varsity field for the first time. Like you got to realize, you know, that the tempo, what's expected, uh, you know, on, on both sides of the ball. You know, we we the look that we need to get the defense, you know, has to be as crisp as possible. Um, and then the defense has to, to play every look, and you know we try to you know give them hard stuff. So there's going to be some stuff that we got to get corrected, which is good. You know, um, the practice isn't about making them feel good. You know, it's about you know giving them some hard stuff and, and see if they can work through it because that's what they're going to have to do on Saturdays, and then make the corrections. You talked about the mix of young and old. Do you have to? mix the young in like do, they, do you need to have the old guys in when you're putting in some of those young guys yeah i think you do you know and um because you put a you put a whole field of young guys out there you never know what the communication or, or you know what the the output will be so uh trying to to get that balance you know of of old and new so that um, you know there there's the proper communication they understand uh, the tempo, they understand what's expected, uh, you know, from a communication alignment assignment technique, how the play goes, the finish, all that stuff. So, uh, but we've, we've had that all the way through camp, you know, thus far. Uh, so really today is no different in that regard. Brad, uh, Rich said they probably do the ball more than expected, I guess, on the scrimmage. How do you feel the secondary on this will and yours? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I thought it was good at times there were some times that that things got a little bit loose uh that you know again that's why you practice and um you know some things that you you, know, you may have seen for the first time uh and, and and that's good like that's playing against this kind of offense you know it's going to stress you and and coach gang you know he he understands how to to get guys open and, and stress defenses and so um you know you you know i Personally, you know, I don't ever want it to, to look terrific because then, you know, there's not much that you can, you can teach off of. So, uh, but there were good things. There were good, you know, competitive plays on the football. There were good pass offs, you know, on route combos. Um, you know, I thought the, the pass rush was active on, on Saturday, which was good, which helped, uh, you know, on, on some of those. So, uh, but overall, you know, it. This is going to be a big game and a big challenge for us. You know, Miami, Ohio, they're, they're going to stress you down the field, and so we're going to see early how these guys do. That pass rush, Mark talked about that on Saturday. That is something consistent that you see from the starter game. that's really you know, your front, you know, probably having pressure. Yeah, but he have been around this uh, a long time to know that, you know, pressure in camp doesn't necessarily mean, you know, the same kind of pressure on game day. And so... Um, we got to see it on Saturdays. Uh, you know, like seeing it out on the practice field and seeing it in scrimmages is good, but you know, I'm not going to anoint or talk about how good it is until until I see it on Saturdays. And then, even then, we got to sustain it week and week and week and week. So, Mark seems really pleased with the secondary based on the time we've talked to him. Are, are there individual guys who are really taking a step there at this point, or is it just kind of a group depth situation? They so happy with them? I think it's a little bit of both. You know, I think I think individuals have elevated their game from last year or from spring. Uh, you know, I think the addition of the, the transfers of, of Kedron and uh, of Zion have, have been a big boost, uh, you know, to our defense and, and to that back end. And so um, it's a little bit of both, you know, that, that you can roll guys in and, and not skip a beat. I've also seen guys like... Max Harrison really take a step forward. And, you know, he's still he's still young, um, and but he's long and he can run. Um, I think Carrington's ready to take a, a big step forward. I think we've talked about that. Um, you know, Andrew Phillips has had a good camp. You know, now he needs consistency. There's there's been a day or two in there where uh, you know maybe not as clean as you know he had been, or you know on a whole from the whole you know from camp wide so 
Um, that's a big thing, you know, for him is just that consistency piece. But everybody's got their uh, their days where they look really good. Some days not quite as good. But uh, overall, they're communicating, they're talking, um, and they're making plays on football. But uh, again, that that's got to show up on. Saturdays, not just on practice. Are those corners at a spot where you're comfortable rotating them for equal kind of snaps, or is there separation still between that first and second? No, I think there's. I think there's good competition. You know, I I, I think you feel uh, really good about you know sort of a three to a four man rotation there. Obviously, what it means split snaps, we'll see. You know, that's still up to be uh, yet to be determined. Obviously, I think. Uh, you know, Carrington's been a guy that, you know, started for us last year and uh, you know, sort of the, the leader of that group. But uh, Kedron and Drew can, can play just the, the same. And then, again, I think Max is a guy that can go in the game and you can, you know, feel comfortable that um, he's going to have enough old guys around him to make sure that the calls and the checks are right and his athletic ability is going to sort of take over. Couple more guys. When you're looking at those guys like Keegan, those transfer portal guys, how important is fit to what oh, you're doing, or, or do you take a guy and say, okay, well, not no. sure if he can fit, but he's just too good to pass up. No, it's got to be a fit, and the the first the first piece of the fit is it's got to fit personality wise, because if if you bring in a guy that that doesn't fit sort of the culture of our unit and the way they play, if it's if it's individualistic, if it's going to be about me, if it's just about my NFL draft stock or this or that, then hey, listen, you know, it, it's not, this ain't the place for you. But if you want to come in and you want to compete, you know, on a really good defense and you want to get taught, you know, and you want to play um, in a scheme that's going to push you and challenge you because it's, it's not easy and you got to pick it up fast, um, but it's going to be about you know, team and team success and unit success, those are the guys we want. And we want smart guys. And uh, Kedron, Zion, they, they fit that mold. They've come right in. They fit right in, you know, with the teammates. You know, they've checked, all of them checked their ego at the door, just a lot like Jock did last year. And, uh, you know, they all, they don't ever want anything given to them. You know, if you're a guy that you just want to walk in and be given to you, it's the wrong place. But, uh, they they compete on a daily basis, and it, it's fun to watch. You know, and you're going to see a lot of those guys. Coach, we've uh, we have heard a lot about the uh, pass rush and different things like that. How have those backers been doing when they've had to draw back into coverage and maybe in scrimmages or anything like this? Uh, so say that one more time. So how have the uh, linebackers been doing when they've had to draw back into coverage or help out in that aspect? The inside or the outside rushers? Uh, in, uh, just the linebacker core engine. Okay. Um, well, obviously, our, our inside guys are primarily in coverage. Our outside guys, you know, they they can be, you know, coming or going. But um, obviously, when you when you bring back, you know, two guys like uh, DeAndre and Jock, you know, like you're you're in a really good position. Uh, they understand what we're trying to get done. Their communication, their depth, their vision. Uh, it's you know, it's as good as I've been around. Uh, and then guys like Derek and uh, Trevin Wallace and those guys, like they understand, like they've grown in this defense. And so uh, those guys are as, as solid as it gets. You know, outside wise, again, you're dealing with, uh, you know, guys like Jordan Wright, who's going you know, to be here for a six year. You know, uh, JJ is about to start his fourth. So they understand, like, I, they've done it before and they've made big plays in coverage. So I, I, I feel good about those guys.